It's going to be interesting to see what, what Astana do and how they reinforce their lineup. And that takes us to our next discussion point. And that is courtesy of Vilaflitz, the Dutch outlet. We initially had a rumor of Nibali going to Eolo Cometa. We knew at the Giro there were lots of uh, talks of Nibali's new contract for next year because Czech Zegafredo, we don't think, are extending him, which is surprising given that he has been there. He's been good for the promo of the team, which have big Italian sponsors and managers. But instead, now Vincenzo Nibali, the Shaka Messina, is rumored to be going back to Astana. Of course, he won the three grand tours at Astana between 2013 to 2016 before he left to Bahrain. But Nibali sort of leaving the scene almost at Astana, Scott, what would this mean for him? I mean, it's going to be a very weakened Astana if uh, all the other transfers go through. And of course, they're not getting back that 2014 Vincenzo Nibali. It is the 2022 Nibali at that point. So we've seen he's not been up there in the pointy end of the Giro. He wasn't anywhere in the tour, of course, or the Giro this year or the 20. Well, he was seventh last year at the Giro d'Italia, but that was such a strange Giro as well. And I just think he's not going to be doing anything really. And of course, we used to say that you should never doubt the shark, but uh, yeah, I can't see him doing anything more with the younger guys coming through as well and the speeds they're going at as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if he hangs up his wheels at the end of 2022. But I must say, the rumor that we also heard with Iolo Cometa, I would much prefer to see him see out his career at that young Italian Spanish team. Of course, Alberto Contador and Ivan Basso, two of his former competitors running that team. But yeah, I don't know what you think about Vincenzo Nibali's rumor here to Astana. Personally, I'd like to see him go to Eolo Cometa. I think that's a team with a lot of flair and it's Italian. He'd still get an invite to the Giro and also to these big Italian races that he'd like to be at. And following Fortunato's fantastic win at the Zoncolan and a potential signing of Elia Viviani that we're going to be discussing as well. It really bolsters their lineup if he goes there. And of course, Ivan Basso was a former teammate of Vincenzo Nibali, let's not forget, back when they both rode for Liquid Gas. And of course, the Astana move, it makes sense. Nibali got on very well with Beppe Martinelli, who is one of the chief principals of the team who organized the Astana team at the Giro. The team does have a lot of Italian riders and an Italian setup in, at, at its heart. So it would make sense for him to go back there. Vila Flitz also mentioned Dakone Quickstep, which I just don't see happening. Maybe Dakone Quickstep is trying to, trying to become a retirement home at this point. But Astana would make sense and if Forsang's going then they might need a, an old soul to replace him. 